Hmm. Here you have this accounting setup manager, which is under financial setup, financials, accounting setup manager. Okay, and it has the accounting steps. So let's go into the accounting setups first. Are you able to see my screen? Accounting setup manager, accounting setups, legal entities. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now here when you do, you can search for a particular ledger or you can just see a general everything. Let's say I want to put vision. And I will see all the vision related ledgers here, okay? And it tells you what type of ledger it is. It is a primary ledger. And there is also a secondary ledger, which is in addition. So there might be something different. See here, the ledger is something, the secondary ledger will always be linked with a primary ledger, okay? Now, if I want to look at a particular uh, ledger or I want to create an accounting setup, then I have to click on this accounting setup and it will take me, it's like a wizard. It will take me step by step. Now, if I want to change anything on this ledger, I can click on this update accounting options and it will take me inside it. So what is this? This uh, particular uh, ledger, this is the Vision ADB USA ledger, is linked with this legal entity. What was legal entity yesterday, if you remember? It is the official name of the company. Right? Now, that company you can define by going into legal entities and you can create a legal entity here. Okay. You can say create legal entity. You can give a name like this, SP. Always use your name initials, SP Vision Company, let's say. So this is like the official name. There will be a legal identifier, okay, and unique number. Here in India, we call it CIN number, corporate identification number. Then you have some other number. What is the legal address? So you can look for a legal address. This is again, you. these are already existing in the system. So I'm just using that. Whatever comes with an asterisk is mandatory on these screens, okay? Otherwise, you can just say save and add the details. Now, once you save and add the details, here it will take you through all the other tabs one by one, where you can enter things like the registration details, what are the establishment. Establishment meaning where are the offices of this, entity. Maybe it is spread across US, multiple places, multiple states. So you can enter all their establishments here. This is the contact information. Who is the contact person, email, phone number, details, intercompany if there are any exceptions, history of it, balancing segments. What are the balancing segments? That is the reconciliation between the two. Okay. So whenever there is a debit and a credit that debit or credit has to match that is called a balanced journal so when it is balanced at what level does it need to be balanced is what is called as a balancing segment now let's say we are run, uh, done with this so we can return to our page if you want to search for it you can say sp and search See our SP Vision Company, one is the legal entity, another is the official establishment, that is the official office of the company. Got it? Wait, but to, uh, created two, uh, you created only one, no? Legal entity. This is one legal entity. 
So now through this legal entity, you will need to create ledger. Those ledgers also you can have um, underneath that operating units and then the journals will come. This is right now we are doing the accounting setup. Okay. So let's say I want to do the accounting setup. So this is a create legal entity, which we have already done. Okay. And uh, let's say I want to search for my legal entity. This is my legal entity, SP Vision Company. Then I say next. Here I have to give the name of my ledger. Ledger means what? Chart of accounts, calendar, currency, and the accounting method. These four things make up a ledger. So let's say I want to call it SP Vision Ledger. Chart of accounts, I can look for existing one or I can create on my own. Let's say I pick something for vision. What is the accounting calendar? Here also, I can have different calendars here, as you can see. There's nothing like vision. Let's see, accounting calendar. So this is a monthly accounting calendar. So I can choose that. Currency, I can say USD. US dollars, it can be INR, it can be pound, whatever you want. Accounting method, I can choose any of these accounting methods. Usually we'll say standard accrual, which is the most common one, unless there are some specific things, okay? Now, on top of this currency, do you need any additional reporting currencies? In that case, that you will you can add over here. Okay. Um, for example, I can say INR Indian rupee. I can say British pound. I can say Euro. Euro. Okay. Now these conversion levels, when they are being converted from dollar to Euro or to INR, do you want it at the balance level, meaning as a summary, or do you want it at the transaction level? That means each and every journal will be converted. Okay. It might be you don't want, it is just for reporting. You don't want the every transaction to be transferred uh, to be converted then you can just choose balance that means whatever the balance is as of the end of the month it will get converted or as of the particular end of the period it will get converted if you want a secondary ledger then you can add a secondary ledger here by going to this you can give a name sp secondary second vision Okay. Now, usually you will define a secondary ledger only if one of these are different. Okay. Otherwise, it really doesn't make sense to define another ledger. Okay. So let's say I have this, I have the accounting calendar also. And currency, instead of USD, I can have it as Euro. or maybe I want it as Yuan.
Y N would be Japanese yen. I am actually looking for Chinese. Okay. It's not defined, I think. Anyway, we can pick up something else in that case. Yen is also not defined. So let's say I want uh, AED. Okay, this is the UAE dirham. And this is the subledger accounting method. Okay, now suppose I, all this, I want this one to be something different also, I can choose that. Instead of accounting monthly, maybe I want it four, four, five period. Okay, that means four weeks, four weeks, nine weeks. Eight and five, 13. 13 weeks are making a quarter. 13 into four, you get 52 weeks. So then this is done. So this one, you can do it at the subledger level. Now your entire legal entity is defined, ledgers are defined, okay? This is your primary ledger. These are your reporting currencies and this is your sub secondary ledger. Clear, clear everyone? Okay, now there are some default accounting options that you should be entering over here. And for that, we have this ledger option. See this, this is mandatory, okay? So you have to come here, come to update, and you have to enter these mandatory information. So just check whether how many uh, periods are there and how many um, things that you want to use. Maybe I want to use it from December 22, provided the period is defined. All these uh, periods are not defined. That's why th those are not showing up. Nothing is defined in 2020. Oldest one defined is December 12th. Okay. And then uh, this is the balancing account. The entire combination, whatever this this combination is called as a key flex field. Okay. This is called as a key flex field. And under this, you can enter uh, balance sheet. Account. These are your default account. If nothing else goes there, you can uh, enter it over here. Okay. Uh, currency, this is like your uh, currency balancing account. For now, let's just put it under the suspense and see. Okay. And so all your uh, definitions are done. You can search for it. 
if it is already existing you can select it or you can create one also okay so this is the currency balancing in case you want a cash basis of accounting and this will only be in payables because you will pay them as and when cash and then the ledger will be journal entry will be created so this is the first step second step is this is the retained earnings account uh, that means any default ones you can specify where it will go or you can search and pick one of these up. This is your suspense account. Suspense account means if there is any mismatch, where can you put that? So let's search for suspense. Suspense. And then we say so this is my suspense account. Suspense account, any mismatches will go into that. Any rounding differences, that can be put into a separate account. There could be separate accounts also where you have all these uh, like discounts and uh, rounding differences, bad debt, all these are tracked. See, this is called rounding. Okay. So we'll be choosing this one. You can do quick select also. It will get selected. Click search. So this combination, any rounding differences will be put into this account. If you want to do intercompany balancing, you enable it. If you want journal approval, you enable it. If you want any uh, automatic reversals between the journals, you can enable it. Rounding means Rounding means suppose you have in dollars, okay, or in rupees also, you have 42 paisa. Have you seen in nowadays a lot of uh, uh, stores and all they round it to 50 paisa or the nearest rupee. Uh -huh. So that is extra. Where will it go? Into which account will it go? So that is kept in a separate account. So this is when we are spending or like we are getting amount. It can uh, be both sides. Like when you are buying, when you are buying also selling also, you have built your customer for 42 rupees, 52 paisa. Customer pays you 43 rupees. 
where is that extra 48 paisa going to go? Or you have billed him 43 paisa, 50, 43 rupees, 52 paisa. He pays you 42 rupees, 50 paisa. Where is that difference of 2 paisa going to go? Got it? Uh, okay, okay. Okay. See, remember in accounting, they try to uh, track each and every paisa that has been spent. So for that, they need different heads, where it has been entered, how it has been entered, who has entered it, and so on. See, when I'm searching for this here, just to explain this, this is account. If I give description here, then it will be, it might find something. This is for translation, right? See, translation adjustment accounts. So you have to be careful how you are searching. Okay, so all these have been filled up. Next, step three. So whether you want by journal reconciliation, okay? And whether you want budgetary controls, budget journals. So that means if you want budget journals or budgetary controls, you can enter budget journals. Like this is $5,000 is your budget so that you can track against it, how much you are spending and what you are spending, okay? If you are not enabling, then this, this will not be there. Average balances, whether you want average balances for a period of time. Otherwise, you can leave it as blank. So now all your things are done. You can do a review here. Okay. Well, these are all like, uh, like already uh, built-in accounts, like which are already... Yes, these are actually... Added. Yes, this is the chart of accounts that I've used. Na? See this chart of accounts... Uh, This is my chart of accounts. This was already configured in the vision environment. In some client sites, if it is a new implementation, then you will have to load it. Otherwise, you will find it mostly existing in the application. Or sometimes what they do, they make changes or there is some reorganization that is happening. Then they have to redo that entire thing. Based on any company, their uh, details need to be first uh, uh, should be lo yes. loaded, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Any no, other question? Uh, this uh, that is also manual entry. Uh, same thing like account details, everything. Need to be no, created. that you can use. There are different tools like that Web ADI, or there are like you can use uh, PLSQL packages to load it. Okay. okay. Any other questions? when there is a negative amount that would uh, negative amount also suppose uh, the customer has to pay some amount uh, like 10,000 mm -hmm. he paid only 9,000 so difference in negative amount also it will go into the secondary that account right which you that transaction yes. actually with, into which account it will go is dependent on how your configuration has been done in some cases you may want it to remain in your main ledger only. You do not want it to go to, because every ultimately every creditor, debitor, they will have a separate account. Okay. 
okay so while while any any time like when any credit uh, credit card statement or debit card statement when they showing they will pull from both the accounts and they will display the payment yes address. yes actually what happens see in payables there is a supplier and it's a liability account why because you are supposed to pay to your suppliers right so when you pay to your suppliers yeah. You will be charging them. Uh, you will be. You will have to make provision for that. That this is the amount of service that you have bought from them, or this is the amount of products that you have bought from them, and you want to pay it to them. So that is like your outstanding amount. Got it. Similarly, for your customers also, your customers might have paid you something extra. So that will remain in your account. Got it? Yes? Others, any other question? When we say other subsidiary, like ledger means, uh, uh, Ledger is like your books of account. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the uh, the different books of account that you are maintaining it for them? For example, what is a books of account? In the books of account, you will maintain what currency in which you are recording the information. What is the uh, period that is accounting period? Is it monthly, weekly, fortnightly? Okay. And uh, along with that, you have the different account listing. You just now saw rounding account, uh, translation account, or foreign uh, currency loss gain account, account receivable, payables. These are all individual accounts that you maintained in the system. Okay, that is maintained through the chart of accounts. So those we will see how you can create them in the system, how you can update them in the system. That we'll see after this. Okay. So this currently which we are creating is a, a general ledger Correct. thing. Also. General ledger, yes. Okay. So we have seen like one more thing like other subsidiary ledger. That is also the same oh, way. Oh, that create. one is a secondary ledger. Okay. Okay. You meant you mentioned subsidiary. That's why I got a bit. Uh, uh, secondary ledger means that it is for uh, another could be another company, another subsidiary, another part of the organization, another business, whatever it is. But that also will be created this way, like same way, whatever. Or yes. That is different uh, process they follow. Yes, yes, yes. So when you are entering journals, you will see that you can choose which ledger you are entering the journal for. Any other question, anyone? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Now let us see how we can do the part these parts in the other places. Okay. So I'll next show you how we can uh, do these accounting uh, periods, the currencies, and the chart of accounts. See, here you can look at your operating units from here. Okay, what operating units you need that you can come here and you can create and operate your operating units from here. Right now we haven't defined anything. So you can add your operating units. Let's say technology consulting. Okay, for this, you need a business group. If you remember yesterday, we talked about business group. What is your business group that you need to first define? Let's say it is Vision Industries, which is your highest level. Within that, you are creating your, and you can choose your legal entity. Got it? So this will be your operating unit, technology consulting. Maybe you have BPS, business process. So here also you can create your business group and you can say vision, industries, quick select. Okay, so these are your two operating units that you have created. Now see, you will find this one is in progress. If you are done, you can say complete. Sequencing is an automatic numbering that you are creating. So if you want to have any particular sequencing, you can say based on general ledger, you can create automatic accounting or journal entry for posting you can create an automatic sequencing one by one it will create that okay So this is your entire uh, ledger and all this that you have just now created, okay? We created legal entity, we created ledger, we created operating unit. Everybody clear on this? Yes. 